Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match of Akron. This time between J Raccoon and QAI. QAI being a rather new player, and J Raccoon, of course, being a very experienced player that we've seen a fair amount of. But I wanted to show off a game with a new player, see how they played out, and possibly offer some tips and advice in case they're watching. So QAI not choosing his race. Choosing Grecum! Never mind, he is choosing Grecum. J Raccoon, on the other hand, is choosing to play CISO. Setting himself up. So Jericoon normally plays random, so I guess he probably just randomed into CISO. Though I'm not fully certain about that, but that's most likely knowing Jericoon. I mean, QAI setting up his starting progen pair and setting up his initial RP. So getting his economy set up quite soon. Void platform is a map we actually haven't seen in a long time. Three player map, though, in this case just with two players. And symmetric radially, we have the bases in the top right top left and bottom sides of the map, with expansions in between them throughout. Well, expansion... There's a small four-crate expansion to... well, counterclockwise to each expansion, and a larger but more distant five-crate expansion clockwise to it with four-crate... well, four-crate and five-crate nearby. That's in between each expansion. This is for all expansions. And the very, very, very center we have six crates only accessible by infantry. And the map itself is, as you can see, pretty much just a bunch of circles. With some paths going between elevations, but nothing particularly interesting, really. It's just, it, it's sort of circle setup. It's kind of like a space station idea. Anyway, we see that QA is getting a bunch of Octo set up, not pushing them yet to resource processors. I'm not sure if he was planning on going for a really quick rush, or if he meant to do resource processors and didn't actually build them as processors. Jericho, remember, setting up two importers, so go going very quickly for an infantry rush, and looks like QAI actually was wise in building up the Octos that he did without going for RPs directly. Because it does allow him for quite a lot of defense. Void Platform, while not a particularly small map, is also, because it's a three-player map, putting the players fairly close together. Which means that rushes can actually be fairly useful. And so QAI appears to be defending against that, but I'm not sure if he... I think he really should be building some RPs with that. Two Octos will be enough to defend, but he is in fact sending out as a rush. He is going straight for the wrong base, but he'll be able to go back in time and change that if he needs to. And anyway, Jericoon up at the present is double checking his own attack with Special Ops, which isn't going to last long. The Octos are just going to tear it to shreds. But he does have these importers, which means he's going to be going for an infantry rush from the looks of it. I don't think he's going to be going for... Yes, he is! He is going for an immature, so I didn't think he was going to go for a factory at all. Ground units is used for upgrading marine weapons, so he's probably going to go for a bunch of marines and just attack with that. You very rarely see that at the very early stages of the game. Usually that's something that happens around 20 minutes in the game, once you get gate tech and slingshots, and even then, that hasn't happened in a long time. Like, Haiku did that a bit, but it wasn't a particularly popular strategy. Now, anyway, QAI finding Jericho not in the northwest corner, going instead in the northeast corner with these octaves once they're done. J Raccoon, this is with Special Ops going down to QAI's base. Well, he does set up quite a strong economy, actually, even for probably infantry rush, so he might be might be doing infantry into some other transition. Possibly infantry into Mar Tank. Given the early well, I don't know, two factories. Actually, that's quite a That's quite a lot of production there for Mar Tank, so he's probably not actually focused on that. A little surprised at the early ground units though. That if he's not going for either an infantry rush or a Mar tank rush or Twin Mar rush, to be more precise, I don't see the point for that early ground units. And even with Twin Mars, I would still wait a while to get ground units. That's resources that you kind of want to have open for a little while. Anyway, QAI is going in the direction that he needs to go, getting into Jericho's base. Jericho has a couple infantry in between their bases, but they're between their mains. But those won't be enough, because we just saw the Octos tore them to shreds. With the other Octo going around, I'm not sure why this one is still scouting towards the northwest. I don't know if QAI was just unable to change its orders, or didn't want to, or what. However, QAI does have the current energy to change that order if he wants. He is not doing that, however. He is leaving it to go where it was going. And no, actually, he's only sending it back home to become a resource processor. So this rush here that QAI is sending is going to be quite powerful if it gets in and actually deals the damage, which it should be able to. The factory is building up. No, the factories aren't up yet. This is, this is really early. QAI not even getting there when the factories are up. Jericoon still building up the second importer. Although apparently changing where his importers were, but he is building up the second importer and getting a second armory, so he is now focused more on the infantry rush, but this these importers set up nicely for 
defense against the Octus. The Octus can't easily get in to get rid of the Marine. So the Marine just able to tear him to shreds while they're trying to trying to get at it. But unfortunately for Jericho, he did move where the importers were, which means this this Marine will ultimately go down. As will the importers. So Jericho, he doesn't really have time to change up this building construction placement. So he's going to... He's going to do what he can, but he really doesn't have the currency to do anything with this. So I think Jericho is going to lose this to a really quick Octo Rush. Getting a special loss, but losing both importers very soon. Yeah, both importers going down. His special loss will be coming up, but even that won't be enough against three Octos. He'll be able to do something, but nowhere near enough. The Octos is going straight for the Armory. We'll be able to take care of the special loss in no time, but then afterwards the Armory is going to go down in a hurry. So QAI very quickly, very decisively taking this game. Nicely done with the Octo Rush. I have never actually really seen that. That happens very rarely. Most of the time, players don't even bother to do something like that. But yeah, that was actually nicely done. So yeah, QAI has this game. He's got it in the back. There's nothing that Jericho can do from this point. So, that was... That was surprisingly quick. So Jericho still not throwing in the towel quite yet. He does have a special ops over in the east side of the base, but... Really not sure what he can deal with that. He... The Special Ops is going to do what it can. Get the Octos when they're distracted, but two Octos will beat one Special Ops. So, as we can see, yes, that's exactly what happens. j has no way out of this. He is surrendering. That was another very quick game. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Be back in just a minute with another game. Also, another non-Assassin mode game. So this was not an Assassin mode, by the way. So, another non-Assassin mode game. So, stay tuned.